Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dungeons! Right. Still got a few more waves to go. Still not managed to satisfy any heroes. Alright, let's pull back. Let's get Butch in on the action. Your guardian is under attack! And that's just nasty. footing. Quite low. Let's see. I need a little bit more prestige. <laughs> then I can start using these objects. You are almost satisfied. Well, time for the next level of treasure then. A hero died while fighting a monster. Yeah, that can still sometimes happen. Just getting some more prestige going. I hope I can find a couple of new spells down here. Right. Reading in these dark halls is just ruining my eyes. Who does not honor you the are satisfied. Not that means training. you're mine. Adaba, Give Adaba. me your soul. Energy. <laughs> as long as I don't need to upgrade my... Uh, my bad guys. I can just keep plopping down whatever I feel is necessary. special gimmicks. These are basically uh, reinforcing gimmicks that uh, enhance certain creatures within my dungeon, like for instance on my monsters, uh, myself, and the heroes. And let's start with my monsters. 
And these are fairly big sculptures though, so... Find room where you can. Let's see... Are you satisfied yet? Not quite. the heroes because well, without them I would not be here and upgrade myself of course because I can't forget about myself and I guess I might as well upgrade the bats and let's build some bigger dungeons Also have special uh, things that can you can only have one of. I think. Well, it doesn't matter. The uh, gold mine, which will ensure that I will always have money. The scriptorium, which improves the, uh, which has something to do with the libraries and the fun the foundry. These in basically increase the amount of need a hero has, which can be to your benefit. Really, just finding a place to put those things. I've arranged to have those little elf ears passed around as an appetizer at the beginning of the party. Oh, and you did a wonderful job out there, Master. <sighs> it's not that it doesn't add flavor to the game, but interrupting me to tell me about a party that I am not going to see or be at. It's a little bit annoying. Because I will not be at that party. But might as well just find a place to plop down this gold mine. That's not quite enough room. Alright, then we make room. And we now can also have way more goblins. Alright, let's keep making stuff cheaper. And make things a little bit easier to hit. Alright, so my prestige is now modifying everything by 229%, at uh, 92%. Quite good. It's not, uh, still not the maximum amount of prestige I can have. Alright. Give me gold. another room. You have opened a hero's entrance, Master. <laughs> and the heroes have leveled up again. 
Well. It's definitely being done artificially in this case, though. Let's keep adding to the f to these places. Right, the capacity of 720 could do fill a few more objects that increase the amount of uh, recharge. I'm still fighting these heroes. Send me more gold. Uh, you want 500? I don't have that at the moment. Vermin, vermin. And that's all the gold I need. Alright, let's go satisfy that request. Level soon. And let's upgrade my monsters again to make sure that they stay on par with the heroes. Luckily, these heroes are not interested in rescuing my uh, captured ones, since after all they are just here for fun. I'd still prefer to them not to wander through this area, but champions, however, if they come across your dungeon area, they will attempt to free your uh, endangered heroes. You'll probably want to stop them from doing that, though. Oh. Hero has escaped from your dungeon, master. Ah, damn. Oh well, that's that can happen. It's a pity, but what will you do? down more stuff. So now my prestige is maxed out. I'm getting the full 400% bonus. 
So I'm not gonna get any stronger than this. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna destroy any more gimmicks for a scroll. What? You, you two, yes. Go. Go away. I want to destroy the common cell. done collecting all the soul energy I need since I'm now just intended intending to destroy these heroes and I'm not gonna be able to get any stronger I might as well just actively hunt them as long as I stay within my dungeon that's fairly a uh, good idea Pretty much almost one shot these guys. And if I wanted the to, I could with still. The heroes raise went the level. off wonderfully again, Master. By the way, I took the liberty of booking a few orchid dancers for your victory party. <laughs> oh, Master of Carnage incarnate. Right. Let's keep slaying heroes. I don't need these uh, heroes here, so I'm just gonna send them away, get rid of all this stuff. It's a bit of a waste of soul energy, I know, I know. But I've got plenty. If I was starving for soul energy, maybe. But I just want the most efficient cells here. So, go away, pester someone else. I hope you've learned your lesson, but I somehow doubt it. There, that should be enough prison capacity. I'm just gonna raise the level. Because I need to wait for the next wave anyway. But yeah, there's really no point for me to uh, keep adding prestige objects because I, I can't gain any You have opened a new it. entrance, Master! But I need I got. Yeah, and my monsters are still on par. That's your capacity. Plenty. Now you do want a little bit of over capacity for your rooms because there's a chance that multiple heroes want to use it. Sensible enough. Just right. Where did the heroes come? Uh, they can come a little closer before I chase after them. Heroes in the dungeon. But while I'm at it, might as well try to figure out where I'm gonna go with my uh, tree. 
Right, so basically I want to get all of these filled out. Particularly the improved convert pentagram and the improved pentagram. Which isn't... Yeah, which isn't vital now. But will become more vital once I go up against other dungeon lords. Alright, I'll just clear out this wave and then call it a day. Let's see, um, large hero bags, always good to have heroes with more gold on them. Just in case you have trouble starting your dungeon. And making my workers faster, since these are all passive upgrades. Increased hero needs, uh, potentially. Uh, I might also want to go down this route. Well, the Quicksilver, uh, the spell is not necessarily needed, but the improved speed is very good. Because the faster you can uh, zip around your dungeon without needing to portal back is very good. Also on this side, having improved damage, also good. Getting better critical hits. I'm never gonna bank on having critical hits, but having them, definitely useful. And beyond that, improved monsters and traps, that will become useful later as well. Uh, and improving my intelligence is not necessary per se, but I might want to go for the improved defense, just so I won't get accidentally sniped. Uh, here's another one of the things I don't really like. Once you've summoned your uh, guardian, you can't heal him. You can basically only take damage until he dies, and then you will have to summon him again. Now, that, it's, that in itself is not so bad, but there's a cooldown after he dies on whether you can summon him again. That's annoying. <laughs> really annoying. Because it's a fairly long cooldown, and there's a good chance you might forget. And usually, when your guardian dies, that means there's heroes in the dungeon. Heroes that are trying to smash down your heart, so you really, really could use a little bit of extra help. Right. Master, the beer for your victory party was just delivered, and a few guests are already here. It would be best if you took care of these last few heroes quickly, so that we can get started with the party. <laughs> <sighs> You've really just invited your own friends again, didn't you, Mr. Sidekick? That is not what we agreed. This time, at least some of the friends were supposed to be mine. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Greetings, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dungeons. Alright, let's... Let's just finish off with the uh, the mission. <laughs> yeah, the challenge uh, is a little bit amusingly named. I just can't wait. Don't waste time. I don't understand the principle of the game. Yeah, that that is pretty much true. Right. I think there's nothing else I really need to do. Let's just wait until the next uh, wave comes. Ah, this is annoyingly slow. <laughs> I mean, later on you do get means of getting uh, 
soul energy faster, but at the moment it's just so agonizingly slow. See, can I build any of this other stuff that I intended to put down at some point? Don't think it matters exactly where you put it. Alright, there goes another gate. A new hero's entrance has been opened. And I remember I was digging out an area and just put down a foundry here. Right, twelve heroes in the dungeon. <sighs> That's a fight even I can win. I'm gonna take the gold. And the heroes have not increased their needs much. <laughs> Shouldn't matter though. Some of my rooms are really running out of supplies. Alright, let's put down a scriptorium. Which gives me extra prestige, which I don't really need. And increases the maximum need for the library. For those heroes I that are so inclined. I am still fighting these Heroes, send me more gold. All right, fine. You want gold? Here, have some gold. Now let's just start killing these heroes. Maximum limit for my goblins. Can't have reached the level yet until I get some more heroes. Might as well just raise my uh, monster level to unfair levels because I just need to finish the game, the, the mission. The 
Now most of the time this is just a bad idea because if your heroes get killed too quickly then, well, you're not getting anything out of it. <laughs> of course, our monster level also affects uh, the, the dungeon lord, so it does, well ma it does make me a little bit stronger, I think. Three more heroes left. Right, one more hero left. And it's probably you. Not entirely sure how the game just determines which heroes you need to kill and which you need to keep. Congratulations, Master! The last of the heroes are leaving the dungeon wailing. The party can begin. Wonderful, wonderful. The good-natured folk of the land are devastated and still moaning from the beating that you gave them. Yeah. Not all that much. Did die two times. That that's annoying. <laughs> you do. You definitely never want to die. Uh, most of the stuff is just easy enough. I mean, depending on how quickly you clear out the uh, dungeon, of course, the more requests come in from the zombie king, which potentially opens up more gateways, which could potentially be more problems. But in this case, it was not. Laugh As down. if the mention Ever of this liar. hopeless, good place didn't already cause my face to break out in a rush, yet another dungeon lord has also made himself at home here and dares to stand in your way. While you deal with this pathetic rival, I would suggest that we dig up the cellars of Laugh Town and arrange for a little devastation there. <laughs> Right, and this is then the point where it becomes pivotal that you have uh, improved a uh, convert pentagram uh, uh, available to you when you need to deal with your rival, although I don't think that's in this level yet. But the next one, it's a bit difficult to tell which level you're actually in, since the land's not really clearly def uh, defined beyond these uh, little Lessons standees. Creep. Crystal Throne. Sleepy Maniac. Good sleepy. But that's some that's a problem for the next time. Thank you for watching. See you all next time. <laughs>